it's DDK and I'm back again to show you how to win, but today you're gonna to have to spend some dividends. Now, today we're going shopping so you can find out everything that we use for our cargo van. We're going to three stores. We're going to Costco, we are going to Home Depot, and we are also going to Harbor Freight. We're about to spend this money and don't hate. Now, if you decide that you do not want to go actually to the store, you can click the link in the description and use our Amazon affiliate link. We have everything categorized, so you're gonna go exactly where you need to be, but it's time for us to go in here and spend this cheese as gold. We are here to get something very important that you're gonna need out here, and that is a dolly. This one right here is a four in one, and it costs $129.99. The tax may vary depending on your state and city. So, let me show you what this, this dolly does. She was trying to tell me I got big CJ. He's the one to put us on his dollar. Now, we're gonna do number one. This is number one right here. Then we have lean back. Number two. That's number two right there, right? Then we have number three. That's number three. Well, hold on. Let me get let me get hold on wait. That's number three. And then this is number four. Four and one. You can do Four things in one dolly for $130. About the bar and pop our cow. So we are here at Home Depot. We spending these chips like Pringles. Let's talk about the plywood. There's two different plywoods that we had. Initially, we started off with pine plywood and it cost $55.80 per slab. We used two slabs because our van is 14 feet long. So we put an eight foot slab in there and then we had them cut two feet off the second slab, which equals 14 feet. But we started to have issues with this pine plywood. It started to like bend and warp and crack and everything. So we looked, did some more research and we found out that the best plywood to use in your cargo van is actually birch wood. So let's go down here and check out this birch wood. That's what we're using right now. Come down here, baby. Come on. Now it is more expensive. I'm gonna show you that right now. Here it is right here. Half inch birch wood costs $71.08. This has been working out great for the last two months. We had that for about eight months and it went okay, but we started to get in a little bit of trouble. It started getting stuck and everything. So if you guys know about the channel, you know what happened before. But we put this down and we also did put some polyurethane on there. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is. Now it's time to put the polyurethane on here. Look, check it out. Bingo! We got that polyurethane, baby. And this cost us $16.48. And we did apply it with a micro fiber roller. We recommend that you do that because it will not leave any streaks or leave any residue left over. And with this, we were able to apply two coats. If you would like to apply more, you can get a bigger can like this. It costs $52.58, but honestly, I recommend just go ahead and get this one for $16.48 and be great. Now, I do want to tell you something that's very important about this polyurethane. It is very, very, very strong. Very strong, baby. So, if you're gonna do it, try to do it in your garage or outside or something. So what we did was we did it outside and then we let it sit there for probably like an hour. It does dry pretty fast, but that smell is gonna last for a long time. And when you put it inside your van, it is gonna be very strong. So you could just let it sit for like a week or you can just go ahead and get busy like we did. It's time for us to get back to this money, you did. Now, just so you guys know, we actually did use some wood glue as well to glue the two slabs of plywood together. We also bought this sander. This sander was like $5.98, and we bought this wood glue that was $7.98. In order to install this plywood in a 170 wheelbase van, you are gonna need two people to do so. And what we did was we put some duct tape on the bottom of the two slab. We put the one slab in, put the duct tape under there, and then we set the other slab on top of the duct tape so they meet together like this. Then we put the wood glue right in that joint, right in the seam. We bent it up, put it in the seam right there, right? Then we set up and put pressure on it. Now, after the wood glue dries, you're then gonna use the sander to knock it down some. Now, the reason we did that was because 
before when we had the pine wood, everything like the sunrun panels and stuff, when it's time to go over the, the lip, it always got caught. So we wanted to glue both of them together so they stay in one stationary piece. I'm gonna show you I'm a beast, let's go. Now we are here at Harbor Freight and the first thing you're gonna grab is this four wheel dolly. This one is heavy duty. Shout out to my guy Big CJ, he put us on this too. This actually costs $30. And the reason why I recommend this one over this one is because when you, oh, that, that ain't even the right one. This ain't the right one. This one or this one is because guess what? When you put the furniture on there, it's gonna be sliding around. It's, just, it's like you sliding your socks on the carpet. Next up, next up is the tarp. This is not a necessity. You don't need this, but it's a good thing to have while you're out there trying to get to that bag. What if you got to pick up somebody garbage or something? You want to put this tarp down on the plywood or on your floor so you don't get any dust, crumb, dirt, and all that stuff and grum on your van on your brand new fresh plywood. Now we're gonna go right over here to the blankets, baby. You're really gonna need these. If you plan on moving any furniture or anything, you're gonna grab you some blankets. I recommend that if you come to Harbor Freight, you're gonna get you a couple blue ones and you're gonna get you a couple of the green ones. If you just have to get one, I will go with the green ones because the green ones are the biggest one. It's four, I mean, it's 80 square feet. It's 80 inches by 144 inches. I'd rather really have more than less. So you can put this around anything you need to move, baby. So, you're gonna throw that in there. And how much does it cost? I know you wonder, I forgot to tell you about the tarp too. I'm gonna tell you about that, but how much does it cost? The green ones cost $18.99, and the blue ones cost $8.99. So, it's enough money to pay the rent. Let's go over here to the tarps real quick, because I forgot about the tarps. Um, tarps, they have some for $19.99. They have some for $24.99. Depends on what size van you have. I would probably go with the one that is $19.99. We are here on the ground, let's shine. Now, you got your blankets, you're also going to need you some tape to keep the blankets together. <coughs> They got the three pack right here. And this is actually $5.99. As well as the tape, you're gonna need shrink wrap, shrink wrap, baby. You need that shrink wrap. And this is cost $29.99. Do not, let listen to me again. Do not get that green shrink wrap. You get the green shrink wrap and you wrap someone's expensive furniture, it is going to get stuck on there and you, my friend, are gonna be in big trouble. So we did have to move to a different part of the store because that music is bumping. Now, hopefully this video comes out great for you guys. I tried my best, but there's a lot of music going on in every store we go to. But if you don't get anything else that I've told you about, the most important thing of all of this is these straps right here. We're gonna get these straps. These straps are $13. I recommend you get about at least three of these if you can fit two or three pallets in your van so you can go out there and get them vans. But this is the most important thing out of everything that you could have because this is all about safety and keeping the load in the proper place. Another thing that you might want to have is some of these bungees. These are not a necessity, but you can get these. I do recommend you get them because everything, you're not going to have to use those straps for everything you pick up. You might just get you some bungees right here. These are actually like $7 a piece, $6.99. You can get either or. I recommend probably going with the flatter ones because it's going to keep everything a little bit more secure versus the circle ones, but we do have both. So I say you get you one of these and make sure you get those straps. Now, we do have a couple of other things that are just extra that you might or might not need. I'm gonna show you those things right now. Now, we have two more things that could potentially be added to the list. That is the E-Tracks. Everybody always talking about these E-Tracks. For some vans, you may need the E-Tracks and some of them you may not. Also, some companies require E-Tracks, so you might have to get these. These E-Tracks are five feet long and they are $17. And then if you get the E-Tracks, you're also going to need the strap that goes with the E-Tracks. So it's a different type of hook on that joint. So you hook that joint in there and then you go get busy. So you're probably gonna need, if you, it depends on how long your van is. So you might need, you're gonna at least need two of them. So that's five feet. So that's 17 to 17. So you do the math, baby, start adding that up. But I'm not gonna add this up to the total because these are not something that you actually need. And these straps are actually $10. So $17 for the E-Tracks and $10 for the strap. Now, next thing we need is some gloves. You have to have gloves just in case you're carrying something very heavy. 
I say you get something that's real grippy. You want to make sure you get the ones that can grip good. If you don't, you might be in for a rude awakening while you out there trying to carry some baby. So they have a variety of selection. It depends on your preference and your size of your hand and everything. So they got some for even some down here for $2, like $1.76. They got some for $5. They got the, the ones for $20 and all that stuff. So it depends on your preference. Next up, we have the tool kit, baby. This is a $40 holla. This tool kit got everything you need right here. Even got a tape measure in there. You need to have that little tool kit just in case you got a uh, wrench on something. You never know. You might get into a bind. You might have not be able to take something out of the door because you need the tools to take it out. So you might want to keep you some tools. And also, you got to have your knife. When you're out there cutting that shrink wrap and all that stuff or trying to get something open, you need to have your knife. This is $5 and this is $40. And then we have, last but not least, a bonus. The bonus is this. This is the ramp. The bonus. This costs $149.99. Now, do you need the ramp? No. But this is something that you can have in the trick bag. Just in case you gotta uh, whip it out sometime. I think you may want to invest in this. You don't have to invest in it right away, but later on you might want to. Now it's time for us to add up the total, baby. The total, how much you going to spend on this cargo van? Because you are there getting bands. I hope you understand. So we just got done shopping for everything that you need for your cargo van. Do not forget that some of these we needed doubles and trios of. We need two or three of some of these items. For instance, we needed two pieces of plywood. We needed two blankets, two of the blue blankets, two of the green blankets. Then we have three straps and also two bungee cords. So all together, we spent $690. Do you need to run out and go spend $690 right now? Absolutely not. You're just going to get the things that you need for your van. Now, as far as the blankets go and the ramp and everything, it really all depends on what you're gonna be doing in this cargo van. With us, we do a little bit of moving, we do a little bit of gear gaps, and we do a lot of different things, side jobs and all this different stuff. So we need to have as many tools as possible in the tool bag, baby, because we now need to uh, whip it out right quick. Now, the most important of all, I told you guys this in the store, the most important thing of all is you need to get the straps. Make sure you guys get those straps so you can tie the loads down. If you do not tie the loads down, you might be in for a rude awakening. I'm telling you guys right now. So, a lot of people get into accidents and all that stuff. So, you guys want to make sure that you tie down the loads. And also, I would say that those straps are kind of like a recurring cost. It's going to come every so often. I think every like month or two months, you should go ahead and buy you a new strap just to have some just in case your other one's messed up, baby. So, we have about, I think we got like four straps right now. We keep on buying, well, we no, 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 no. Actually, we probably got like seven straps. We got the heavy duty straps, the real, real heavy duty straps. We have the ones I showed you guys in the store, and then we have to also have the small straps. So you can never have too many straps. Stay strapped at all time, baby. That's all I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to throw them C's up in the comment section for if you're part of the crew baby make sure you throw them seeds up before we go i will see you guys on the next one be going be going be flowing you already know it's ddk and i'm on my way